Doc Griffin and it's time again for the doctor's house call and today I'm going to deal with a subject that was inspired if you will by a recent uh, posting that I've seen regarding uh, what three wood you should have in your golf bag and the premise of the uh, demonstration if you will was talking about uh, dealing with the three wood and different sizes and characteristics of the club head um, and I'm going to give you a brief synopsis for example here we have a rather large three wood shallow face which has a very low center of gravity which puts it below the equator of the golf ball so theoretically it will create a little more spin and it will cause the ball to get up a little easier. Um, then you have uh, what I would call a medium sized three wood. Moderately sized, you see it's not qu quite as shallow faced. It's not quite as deep from front to back. Uh, this driver will put uh, uh, a little lower ball flight, if you will. Not quite as much spin. And then we can go to uh, even a third size. Uh, this one is even smaller front to back um, and still uh, a little bit taller. Uh, and still I would consider it to be in the shallow face. It's not really deep, uh, but it is much smaller here. So this one again would put uh, less spin and would uh, launch the ball a little bit lower. Now, uh, I have a real problem with saying which three wood should be in your bag and the premise uh, for that is is that the ability to hit the three wood off the deck now if you're going to talk about off of a tee then probably a three wood would be really good club for a lot of people to use off the tee because it's got more loft and it's shorter so you get a better launch angle and uh, you get more control but off the deck um, it's difficult to get the ball up and airborne if you have a lower club head speed now my rule of thumb is when I'm dealing with people in a fitting is if you have a sub 90 mile an hour club head speed with a driver um, we sit down and we talk about is it really advantageous for you to even have a three wood now my own personal um, criteria or parameters for whether or not a three wood would be a good club in the bag is out of 10 shots can you say that eight of them get up fly true fly straight fly high and fly accurately if not then I don't want a club in my bag that, that doesn't give me at least 80% return. Now I know, I just heard that comment. Some of you just said, well, I don't even have a club, any club in my bag that gives me uh, that kind of return. Uh, you need to come see me. We need to talk. Uh, but, but seriously, if, if five out of 10 of your shots with a three wood don't get up, and I mean really get up and soar and travel and get the right launch angle, it's just not worth having it in your bag. You don't generate enough club head speed. Um, and again, I use that 90 mile an hour uh, club head speed as a benchmark. Uh, at 88, which is where my club head speed, I can still hit a three wood. I can still get it up and, and traveling fairly well, but not to the point to where I don't feel, I feel like I don't have to work at getting it up. Uh, and also keeping in mind that with, um, our vertical swing uh, you actually want to be catching the ball on the up swing so if I have a, a three wood that's big front to back it's long then when I come in and I've got that ball up in the front of my stance and I'm trying to hit up on it that back end is going to tend to catch and drag and skip that's no good so the benefit of that driver, which is supposed to help me get the ball airborne up easier quick with more spin in order to hit it clean and crisp, I'm going to have to move the ball back in my stance, which means I'm going to be hitting it flatter. So I've just negated any benefit that the club gave me to begin with. So what's the alternative?
five wood. Look how thin this is. Front to back, thin, low profile, low center of gravity. Um, with very little effort, this ball will get up and move and fly at a, a good launch angle. Now I know that I get this constantly. People say, well, I already hit the ball high. Trust me. Standing here, looking at a ball out there, you cannot tell the difference between a ball that launched at 14, 15 degrees and a ball that launched at 20 or 21 degrees. And, and hitting with a three wood and a, a club head speed, speed below 90 miles an hour, your launch angle needs to be around 20 to 21 degrees. You cannot visually tell whether it did or not. So again, sub 90 mile an hour, it gets really questionable whether there is a good three wood to put in your bag. You probably would be better going to a five wood. Uh, sub 80 mile an hour, uh, it gets to be questionable as whether even a five wood might be the best club and you might want to consider looking at a seven wood. Again, these are generalities. It's not written in stone. Uh, the only way to really know is like when someone comes in here and I test them and I see their club head speed, I, I see their angle of attack and the way they come into the golf ball um, and what they do with the club face. I can then recommend uh, a five wood, seven wood, uh, or whatever, and we can gap them accordingly. But uh, take it to heart, and it, it could be uh, an ego check for some of us that, hey, uh, we're slowing down, we're not getting younger, our club head speed isn't quite what it used to be, and, and in answer to the question, uh, what three wood or what kind of three wood design would be best to have in my bag, the answer may be no three wood. It might be better to go to a five wood. Well, that's it for me for today. As always, we appreciate your support. Remember, keep it vertical. And better golf is just a fit away.